Aren't you doing any warm ups? Uh, I, I'm doing some stretching. Come on, yes. jogging on the spot. That's what it's all about. Is it? You, well, I don't want to tire myself out before the big race. I've been going for seven seconds. Are I you? need to stop. <laughs> This heat, it's, it's quite hard, isn't it? It's very warm here. It's a beautiful day for it, though. You can see they've got the marquee and everything here. Uh, hundreds of parents uh, turned out for the Birch Cox Primary School Sports Day. Uh, we've spoken to some of the children already. We'll hear from them in just a sec. And uh, they're all really quite competitive, aren't they, these they're, kids? They really are. What worries me is all the parents look very sporty. And uh, it, it looks like we're going to have a tough run. I it looks like so. we're going to have a very tough run. I'm not confident. I don't think you should be either. And uh, I think we've just basically set ourselves up to look ridiculous. Uh, well, no change there. <laughs> yeah. uh, the first thing you spotted was that there's a slight incline on the yes. uh, on the course. So we were thinking, could we actually do it back to front and just do a roly-poly down the hill race? See, I think that would work quite well. I stupidly, though, just came in my dress. I did put my, dra uh, my trainers on, not my dress, my skirt and uh, my trainers. It's not particularly the greatest look. It's not exactly an athlete's look, but Really. So, uh, I think roly polies would be out of the question. So I win by default. That's no. what we mean. Uh, I'm going to be on the red team, obviously. I don't know if they've got a uh, sort of beige with skulls and I'll, sparkly bits. I'll team. go with the blue team because I've got some blue on my bracelet. Oh, yeah, um, so, you have. so I'll be an uh, honorary blue. Today. Uh, but there's greens and yellows as well. So let's hear from them and we'll see how we get on in just a bit. Okay, Robert Kenny is under starter's orders in the uh, adult male race. This is the father's race. Robert Kenny is in red towards the uh, far kind of right hand side from my perspective and he looks like he's getting underway he's digging in he's got the power of Mo Farah under his wings now and I think he's going to be okay at this and they've started and Robert's got up to a reasonably good start but he's finding it very very hard and he's bringing up the rear now and Robert is going to be in last place by a country mile oh dear me Okay, here we go. Fear is going to take part now in the mum's race. She has to try and beat Robert Kenny's position of last. So anything other than last will do for Fear to rest restore her reputation here today. She's getting ready. It's not long now. And they're off. And Fear's doing very well nice. She's on the kind of right-hand side. She's behind a few people, but she's really going for it. She's looking behind to make sure she's not last. And she won't be last if she comes through blistering there. About three ahead, fantastic. Okay, here we are now. This is where it really starts to matter. Robert versus Fear going head to head in the ultimate clash of the Titans, that is the egg and spoon race. They've both been training a little bit for this. They've both been in consultation with the likes of Mo Farah and Jessica Ennis in order to get themselves in the peak of physical fitness for the egg and spoon race. Uh, they're both running sort of to my left right now with a whole load of other parents who are all very eager and very willing. I can't say the same about Robert and Fear, but they will be underway in just a couple of seconds. Uh, they have to wait for a moment because one of the mums has already dropped her uh, egg from the spoon. <laughs> and they're off! Here they go! And they're going very, very carefully. And Fear looks like she's almost out in front. She's certainly in second place, but she's dropped her egg. Robert is going slower, but he's going smoother and more steady. Fear drops the egg for the second time and Robert is storming ahead. He could even get into a podium position here. Not quite. They're giving up. We've already got a winner. Robert is going for it. Fear just keeps on dropping her egg. And Robert is way ahead of Fear now and he crosses the finish line a good 10 seconds or so before Fear Tarrant. Okay, so here we are. It's the final challenge now. It's the under and over race where they've got to put a ball either under or over their legs. Two groups of parents in a, a line each. Equal number of parents in each line. Once they've completed the line, they win. Robert and Fear are both in the same team and they're underway. And then it is all over. We have literally got the dying seconds left here. And Fear has stumbled the ball. She fumbled the ball. Will it make a difference? Will the teachers win? Yes, and the teachers, I think, have won it by a knife edge.